Hey guys, welcome to part two of the vinyl collection. Uh, this is all the stuff I've bought at the stores, and I'm pretty picky when it comes to vinyl, mainly because my record player sort of sucks. I need to get a good record player, you know, with like an app and stuff. I just bought a cheap one because I wanted to start collecting vinyl. Well, um, there's a story behind the record player, actually, but that's what I'm sticking to. Anyway, uh, I, I'm very picky. I usually only buy stuff that's older, uh, usually. Uh, because I think it sounds better on something that it's the like, old. It sounds better on a shitty record player when you have old vinyl because it was sort of recorded for this. Uh, not all of it's old though. Some of it's not. Uh, the top of the stack actually isn't. But I like. You'll find out real quick. I'm like obsessed with uh, punk music. <laughs> uh, so, anyways. Uh, Right here, I just got this. AFI, answer that and stay fashionable. It's not it's not new AFI, so it's not that mainstream garbage they put out now. However, this record was not recorded. I mean, I don't think the sound quality on this is worth uh, bragging about. It amazes me that some vinyl that they're printing now, some of it's great sounding and some of it just sounds like shit, which works in some ways and others doesn't. <laughs> uh, this one itself... Did not add, it was just too, uh, it was too not clean, and it sounded pretty poorly on the record player. And I don't really know, uh, some notable songs in here, High School Football Hero, uh, I Want to Get a Mohawk, but Mom Won't Let Me Get One. You can tell they were pretty young when they wrote this one. Uh, anyway, not my favorite AFI album, but not my least favorite AFI album. Anything that came out past, like, 2000 was pretty shitty, actually. Next up, another AFI one got the same day. They were side by side, so I figured what the hell. This is Very Proud of You by AFI. Great album cover. Uh, and actually, this album was recorded much better. It was it was much better. Uh, you can tell newer for sure. And they took a lot of the songs off that first one and put them on here. Uh, to be fair, I'm not sure... Uh, what songs in here are my favorite because I've only heard it once. So I can't really give you guys any idea on uh, on what that is. So, so far we're already into it and I haven't even showed anything old yet. <laughs> uh, we're getting there. Sort of. Oh, next up. This one sounded pretty good. And this is Bad Brains, Eye Against Eye. Hard hardcore punk band from the 80s. Rastafarian punk. Uh... These guys were very, very, uh, they were like one of the first punk bands to be good, you know, to a point. And uh, Eye Against Eye, the title track's great, and Reignition is another one that's just real sick. Uh, this band is very, very, I feel bad that more people don't listen to them because it took me forever to discover these guys, and they're great, man. Uh, definitely pioneers of the hardcore punk genre, uh, that's for sure. Next up... By the way, if you want to see any of these unpackaged, uh, just let me know if you want to buy one and know what you're getting into. Um, yeah, this one, The Distillers, Sing Sing Death House. Uh, this is fronted by Brody Dow. Uh, she was married to Tim Armstrong from Rancid. Not that any of that shit matters. This album is fucking great. Uh, one of my favorite punk albums, probably. And some really good songs are Sick of It All, I Am Revenant, uh, Sincia Falls, or Sinica Falls, sorry. The Young Crazed Peeling, Sing Sing Death Out, Bullet in the Bullseye, City of Angels. And that's probably the best songs on it. Mostly the first half of the album is fucking great. Uh, they have a couple more albums, and pretty much all of them are pretty good. They got Self Titled, which has Ask the Angels, and O oh Serena, which is, I believe, a cover of somebody else's song. I don't remember who. I want to say Patti Smith, but I'm probably wrong. And uh, I also go. I also really like uh, Coral Fang. Uh, that's got a lot of good songs on it. Uh, next up, we've got an older album, The Doors, original album. Not everybody likes The Doors. I uh, used to be a huge fan of The Doors, but I still think their first two albums are some of the most amazing shit to come out of the 60s. Uh, this one's got lots of boppers on it. Break On Through. The Crystal Ship is a creepy, sort of sad-sounding song. Uh, 
I don't like Light My Fire. That intro on the keyboard just drives me nuts. But this is the first time it was... Or no, not this one. But I have a CD where it was the first time where they finally slowed the track down. Because apparently they forgot to do that the first time they recorded it. So that for the first 40 years or so that it was released, it wasn't actually the proper mix. At least that's what they say. Uh, Backdoor Man, End of the Night. The End, of course. Uh, not exactly a bopper, but it's an interesting song. Uh... Next up, my f arguably my favorite Doors album, Strange Days. This has got lots of great tunes on it. Uh, Your Lost Little Girl, Love Me Two Times. Uh, People Are Strange, My Eyes Have Seen You, I Can't See Your Face in My Mind, When the Music's Over. This is a fucking almost all the way through a great album. Of course, the song Strange Days, uh, but I'm not a big fan, actually, of that one. All right, next up, now we're getting into some weird shit. <laughs> And these ones need to be talked about just because, well, they're fucked. But, uh, this is Gigi Allen. Uh, his band name changed almost every time. This this time, they didn't even have an album title. It was just called, their band, I think, was called Freaks, Faggots, Drunks, and Junkies. And, uh, well, let me tell you some of the names of the songs on here. Uh, be my fucking whore, suck my ass it smells, dog shit, sleeping in my piss, antisocial masturbator, last in line for the gangbang, uh, cunt sucking cannibal, outlaw scum fuck. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's hilarious to me. Uh, and some of this is actually pretty good. This album is not his best work. Uh, Gigi Allen was a fucking crazy motherfucker. If you're interested in, in knowing anything about him, because I don't want to explain it, uh, watch the documentary by the guy who made The Hangover. It's on YouTube for free, so you can watch it. And it's called Gigi Allen and the Murder Junkies Hated. And that is by far enough information for you to go on about Gigi Allen. Um, now this next one, and you might think, wow, you're a huge fan of this huge piece of shit after watching the documentary. And I actually, I'm a huge fan of his music. I thought his music was hilarious. Uh, I don't really think I'd ever want to meet the guy. <laughs> but, you know, that doesn't mean I didn't like his music. So uh, this next one is Gigi Allen and the Murder Junkies, Brutality and Bloodshed for All. Very ugly album cover. <laughs> uh, now, some of these... This is when he went full Muppet. He kind of started to sound like Cookie Monster. And there's, But there's some good songs on here. Highest Power, Kill Thy Father, Rape Thy Mother, Anal Cunt, I Kill Everything I Fuck is a great tune. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to... Whatever. It's, this is the last film he, he made before he died. Uh, there's even a picture of him on the back bed in his coffin with his band around him. Uh, yeah, Gigi Helen is uh, definitely a conversation piece. <laughs> uh, next up, <laughs> funny that it's next to Gigi Helen, but very, very, you know, kind of generic. But I like this album, and I especially loved the album cover art, Dookie by Green Day. This album sounds like shit on vinyl. Uh, and I, I've got this thing with people about the superior sound of vinyl that everybody talks about. Like, that's an okay argument, but the superior sound of vinyl, uh, I think it's a little overrated. Because, I mean, you need a huge, awesome stereo system to make vinyl sound good. And on top of that, um, it's like, if you're listening to Pink Floyd, it's better to hear them on, like, a... CD because you get the full effect of all the shit that they did. I mean, it's arguable. I don't. I'm not here to tell you, you know, that I that I'm right. But I that's my opinion. Uh, this album's great on CD. <laughs> this uh, this was a poor vinyl printing, which I was surprised by because there's some shit on here that I got that, you know, why the hell wouldn't that be recorded shit here? I guess. Anyway, guys, I'm almost reached the 10-minute mark. This is where I'm going to go on uh, to part three after this here. So, uh, anyways, stay tuned for part three.